is from the School of the Faculty of Arts is Elliot Dolan Evans, who is conducting field research in Ukraine and investigating the impacts of austerity programs on women in the context of the ongoing war in Donbass. I'll begin with a story from our recent field research in Ukraine. Elena returns home after a 14 hour trip to get her pension, but she couldn't receive it as she forgot her documentation. Elena trudges inside covered in snow in a negative 20 degree winter and freezing goes to turn on the heating, but no gas comes as her family couldn't afford the bills from last month. Elena goes to the fridge to prepare dinner, but her husband has locked it, fearing that the family will overeat their budget. Elena tearfully takes her daughter's childhood books from an old toy chest, a daughter torn away from her by an explosive remnant of war, and uses the books as kindling for a fire. Elena too feels like a remnant of this war, a husk of a union fallen and a victim of a promised prosperity. Experiences like Elena's were not uncommon stories among the 90 women that I interviewed in my month-long research trip in Ukraine. My research investigates the impacts of austerity programs whilst war rages in the background, and rage it does. The Ukrainian war in Donbass has raged over the last five years as violent austerity programs are also implemented, and women have faced a disproportionate burden of both. My research has revealed that when pensions are cut, it is women who are the most vast majority of pensioners, many of which are living alone, who face the deepest burden. Many having to travel kilometres, often through war zones like Elena, to collect their pension. When schools, kindergartens and hospitals are closed, it is women who take up the burden in looking after the elderly, children and soldiers mutilated by war. And impoverished households across Ukraine can't afford their gas bills each month. And it is women and children who have to collect firewood in the third most heavily mined area in the world. And on the front lines of the war in Ukraine, Women who can't afford food sell themselves to soldiers as a HIV epidemic spirals out of control. Through in-depth research across Ukraine with women like Elena, my research has demonstrated that women are caught between austerity and war. My research is interconnected with and feeds back into the emerging Ukrainian women's movement. And through this revealing of truths that's happening in the war in Donbass, the Ukrainian women's movement can demand hope for their future. Rather than Elena becoming a victim of austerity, a husk of the war in Donbass, and a victim of a promised prosperity, my research can inform the Ukrainian women's movement to demand change and hope for their future. And so they can say in solidarity, we don't like it and we are going to change it. Thank you.